Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. So often in the times that we're living in, we talk about, well, you know, you shouldn't be afraid of this. You shouldn't be afraid of that. Well, this is happening, but don't worry about this, this, or this. It's one thing to say it. It's another thing totally to actually live in a mindset that we're not being afraid. It doesn't matter whether something's happening politically, something's happening close to us, something's happening environmentally. We have so many triggers that make us naturally afraid because, dare I say it, we're so focused on the here and now and not really what we need to be focused on. You know, throughout the pages of Scripture, God continues to come back to us and remind us time and time and time again that when our focus is on Him, there's nothing that we need to be afraid of. Seriously, there's nothing in life that can take us away from Him. I guess we should say except ourselves. God has given us a free choice. What we're doing with that choice needs to be explored, needs to be understood so that we're able to more fully live the lives that he's called us to live. Now, this takes time, doesn't it? It takes intentionality. It takes purpose in order to do that. What are we actually doing? Are we actually living how God is asking us to live? Now, that's something that we could delve into. We could go for years and decades on end asking that simple question and never fully coming to a resolution of what is really going on and how we're supposed to do what needs to be. Today's verse comes to us from John chapter 14 and verse 1. It says this, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Right there, Jesus is reminding the disciples, and even more, he's reminding us today that there's two basic principles that we need to remember. Number one, don't fear. Fear itself is what takes us out. And even in that, there are different levels of fear. There is a good fear, the, the very fear of God, which is the highest form of worship. But right here, we're talking about a fear that literally takes your heart out of commission. What are you focused on? That's number two. You already believe in God. You believe in me as well already. Just remember where your focus needs to be. Keep it on that and everything will line up how it's supposed to. Easier said than done. I know many of us are going to say that. But it's remembering the promise. It's remembering to encourage each other in that promise as we continue to go forward in Jesus. Yes, there's going to be troubles. But Jesus is ultimately seeing us through. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.